Hello everybody, myself Chirag Palodia. I have teach you learn with fun JavaScript. First of all, what is JavaScript? JavaScript is the programming language of HTML and web. Now, I, I give more idea about HTML, CSS and JavaScript. First, HTML. HTML to define the content of web page. So, using HTML, you can struct your uh, web page. CSS, CSS means CSS to specify the layout of web page. Whenever you want to change the layout of uh, your web page, you can use CSS, JavaScript. JavaScript is the program, the behavior of web pages. Now next, here you can see three different images of a man's body. First, first is the structure layer of man's body in which you can see the only boards, uh, bones. It means skeleton of the structure. Now in skeleton of structure, you can see head and body. Head and body is the part of HTML. Now, uh, in second image, it is the presentation layer in which you can see the uh, appearance and look of the particular person. Now, you can see HTML with CSS. In third image, does anyone need captions? It is Superman. So, you can say HTML, CSS and JavaScript, all three included inside the Superman. So, it is first one is structure layer, it is called HTML, second one is uh, appearance and look are change of the particular person so it is called HTML and CSS and third one is HTML CSS using JavaScript next now this is the first JavaScript uh, here you can see the one button of HTML uh, you can click over here uh, click me to display date and time now click first now, when you click this uh, uh, button you can see the today's date and time it means system date and time now, what about JavaScript? Uh, how can we write JavaScript, this JavaScript? First, uh, we can write this JavaScript in HTML in button. Uh, button is the tag of HTML. You can see over here. This is the button tag. Uh, I have write over here type button. And I have put JavaScript in on click event. So whenever you click on button, JavaScript will execute. So here you can see that on click is equal to inverted comma document dot get element by id uh, in which uh, we can also uh, we can see over here uh, i will display my output of the java uh, html using javascript uh, over here it means in paragraph tag <coughs> in paragraph tag you can see i will pass one id the name of id is demo so in uh, javascript uh, i will use get element by id uh, and i will pass the name of id id is equal to demo uh, this document is so it is called document dot get uh, element by id and this all content are in inside the html so dot inner html is equal to date is the system in build function so i have write date then function is over now i have write uh, what we have to see on uh, button so i i am right uh, over here click me to display date and time now you can see again <coughs> click me to display date and time click here you can see the system date and time it means current system date and time next javascript can change html content so one of many javascript html methods is get element by id it is one of the method of javascripts so here i have already uh, told you this example use the method to find an html element using the id id is passed inside the javascript is you can see over here get element by id and demo is the name of id so and changes the element content so it is called inner html now next <coughs> this is second javascript hello javascript so first of all i have already passed one uh, uh, id uh, the name is demo i have already let javascript can change HT, uh, html content now i have to change this uh, paragraph using hello javascript so you can see over here type is equal to button i have already take one button tag inside the body of the html on click event i will write already uh, get element by id using demo it means fetching id now uh, i have write hello javascript so i can uh, change javascript can change html content using hello javascript now i will run now this is the uh, whenever you run the HTML page, uh, first of your uh, uh, output is like that. JavaScript can change uh, content. Now I will click, then JavaScript will execute. Let's click. Now you can see this is the hello JavaScript. Next JavaScript. 
uh, first of all uh, before the next javascript uh, i will teach you one another thing you can use single or double quotes in the inside the javascript see over here demo using double quotes demo using single quotes here also hello javascript using double quotes hello javascript using single quote you can try your own way next now i have used one other javascript this is the light bulb uh, in which i have changed the source of image uh, i will take different image one image for turn on the light second image is turn off the light here uh, i will show uh, uh, here already you have show over here is the one bulb it is in off mode now i want to on it is on now i want to off it is off now i want to on it's on now i will see the javascript of this particular bulb first in this javascript what i am doing this example changes an html image by changing the source attribute of an image so over here you can see that first of all i will execute the event on the button click event so i will uh, put one tag button then on click event of the button and you can see the javascript over here now i can uh, i uh, i am uh, change source of the particular image so you can see first of all uh, i will pass one id my image in which source is peak bulb off so starting you can uh, so that uh, bulb is in off mode now on second uh, javascript in second button i will put uh, bulb off image and first one is bulb on when i will click on bulb on image turn on the light button so uh, image is uh, on it means bulb is on uh, now again i will uh, show you the output now you can see this is the turn off mode uh, i will click here turn on the light turn off the light so when i will click on turn on the light uh, source of the image is changed this is the uh, peak bulb on when i will uh, uh, click on turn off you can see over here this is the peak underscore bulb off dot gif next next is javascript can change html styles uh, see over here i output click me so this is the already right over here javascript can change the style of an html the font is changed you can see over here javascript can change the style of an html so it means font is changed now we will see javascript in javascript we can see over here i will uh, try to change style it means css so all the things are same which already we, we have studied so here over here i will write dot style dot font size is equal to 35 pixel i have passed one style of the font size and font size will be change next javascript can hide html element this is the next javascript so over here when i click on this me uh, click me button so this is disappear now see over here again click me this is disappear now see next uh, uh, code of javascript first here uh, you can show also uh, javascript is uh, written on uh, button tag in on click event so over here, uh, here you can show the, uh, see that uh, in style event style dot display is equal to none first i have already write in paragraph uh, javascript can hide html so i want to hide this particular uh, word uh, sorry this statement so i have already write one javascript inside the button uh, now i will put style dot display is equal to none display none means nothing will be displayed so again click me it is disappear next javascript javascript can show the html element now i will click hello javascript so you can see that uh, i will show you again next javascript so this is the javascript of can show html element you can see over here uh, i will display block in previous i will write display is equal to none so this is the javascript can show the html elements next javascript uh, next is the where to place javascript javascript uh, you can uh, uh, put javascript inside the script tag now you can see over here this is the script tag is on this is the script tag is over uh, inside the body next javascript function and events uh, a javascript function is a block of javascript code that can be executed when called for uh, 
uh, whenever you write uh, code of javascript you have make one function of particular code it is called javascript function uh, what what do you mean by event for example a function can be called when event occurs like when the users click a button so whenever you click on particular button uh, at that time event will occurs and function will be called so whenever you click on button it is called event next uh, first of all where we place javascript you can place javascript inside the head or inside the body of html page so you can place any number of script inside the html document script can be placed inside the body or inside the head section of an html page or in both next javascript inside the head i will show one example of the javascript inside the head now you can see over here uh, javascript put inside the head uh, you can see over here uh, i'll make one function uh, i am making uh, one function of uh, uh, javascript here the code of javascript i'll give the name my function whenever i click on this button at that time on click event my function will be called so event will be occurred on click event and the function will be called uh, this javascript inside the head next javascript inside the body you can see over here uh, javascript is written inside the script tag whenever i click on the uh, on click uh, uh, click on the button at that time on click event occurs at that time function is called this is the javascript inside the body next external javascript script can also be placed uh, in external files so uh, no need to write javascript inside the html page so external scripts are, uh, are practical when the same code is used many different web pages you have to use one javascript uh, in many web pages you have to uh, put uh, javascript code inside the one single file so javascript file have the file extension .js uh, it means you have the javascript code inside one uh, uh, file and uh, save as .js so extension of the javascript file is js so to, to use an external script put the name of the script file in the source attribute of the script tag I will show one example about this first uh, over here I have one uh, different file of javascript uh, this file is uh, 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 totally different it is uh, this content is not right inside the HTML so I will make one file uh, and I have save as my script.js the code is written over here inside the javascript and next now uh, I will call this code which is written in my script.js inside the HTML page first of all uh, I'll make one ID inside the HTML page uh, the name of the ID is equal to demo uh, I'll take one button so type button and on click event the function will be called function will be my function again I will show you uh, this is my function it is in my script.js and the JavaScript written over here now uh, my script.js in which function will be written whenever you click on this button uh, the javascript will be executed javascript will be executed using uh, on uh, my function so now you can the, uh, see this uh, script script uh, src is equal to my script.js so you can include your javascript it means my script.js file using this source file so it is written inside the script now i will show you the output uh, external javascript uh, you can try it on your own way first uh, this is the uh, whenever you uh, run your uh, html page click on try it now this is the change it is paragraph change thank you friends if you like my video please share and subscribe my channel uh, for more videos myself chirag palodia thank you